today I want to rank the best Trackmania maps of all time. There have been a lot of maps made. Trackmania, Nations Forever, Exchange Alone, I think houses about 576,000 tracks. But what is the best one track? The first map and the most awarded map from 2008 is called Somewhere I Belong. Back then, it was very common to name your maps after songs. And if you are a Linkin Park fan, this is the classic uh, Somewhere I Belong from Linkin Park. Can beat the, uh, at least the gold medal, maybe the author time too. I was nine when this map released. That's like what, third elementary in Norway? Yeah, third grade elementary. I was a young one. I did not play much Trackmania back then. I think I did try it, but did not play more than just trying it out for free. Oh, no slide. That's on me, not the map. I take the blame. That's what the map might look like. Somewhere I belong, this map, where do we place it? It is most certainly a classic. For the time it was uploaded as well, uh, just to get that right, 18th of April, two days after the game released, it is uh, almost certainly a legendary track. It really good. I think it exceeds most classics, but it's not quite the GOAT. It's not quite the GOAT. The next map, and the most awarded track of 2009 is Avatar. Let's see how it plays. Starts with a downhill. And just remember everything like the track, sorry, the game had limited block sets back then. So the tracks you could make were also somewhat limited. Everything had to be placed on grid. Couldn't go off the grid set by the game. But I think this is one of the tracks that really hit like a great flow. I think it's classic. Any higher, it's not really legendary. I think it's classic. I think that's a good rating for Avatar, the 2009 map. Let's check out the most awarded map from 2010. Tears of the Past. Really a community favorite, this map. I have played this one. I have played all these maps. This one, it's a while since I've played, but let me, let me take you through it. Tears of the Past. So this one does a lot of what the other map did, but just... It's higher speed. Speed tech is what this <laughs> map style is called, oh no. Trackmania mapping's gone through a lot of changes, and I think you can see it when you look at these, like, old masterpiece maps, right? The scenery is not too spectacular. It's really primarily about the racing line. That's what people cared so much about. It's like, oh, how does it feel to play? That's an important aspect now too, but really like what mappers are doing nowadays is creating an entire aesthetic. It's like, oh, it has to be set in Super Mario or it has to be like in a haunted house. Like you, you build the entire aesthetic and not just the racing lines. The best mappers do both. Uh, it's a classic. It is one of the most hunted tech maps. It is one of the most awarded tech maps. I still think it's, in my mind, just a classic though. It doesn't have the same, like, weight to it, I feel like, as what, as what Somewhere I Belong, for example, does. Brace Yourself by a mapper called Yust. Yust kind of changed the meta. He and a couple others started building full speed tracks with really difficult transitions. And this was, I think, one of his breakthrough maps that really like took off. So this is Brace Yourself. Let's see how it plays. So already this is unlike most full speed tracks in the start. Um, it's transitional, but a lot more precise. A lot of very difficult jumps.
Okay. Onto the wall, you can do a speed slide down, and then into this wall, go low. Because you want to go up this hill, line up for the wall ride, that happens there, then low into this sculpture, and then out here, carry speed across, and then up into the finish. 2011, I want to remind you. <laughs> 2011. Yeah, this map uh, is pretty crazy. I think it is a legendary map. A legendary. Iconic, you could almost call this category. Uh, I think it goes up there. And the next one, the best map of 2012 was this one. Chicken Invaders MTC. The reason this map got so much attention and so much hype is because the mapper took a completely different approach to mapping. The story behind this map is that you are a spaceship. You have offended the chickens. And they are coming to get you. And you need to eradicate all the chickens. With that said, this is the map. <laughs> That's my car there in the bottom middle. And these are the chickens. And it's all made in-game. <laughs> I got a power-up. Cleared level one. <laughs> Okay, now we're on board the spaceship here through the turn. Five chickens so far, not bad. Counter strike, there's more chickens. Okay, okay, okay. Good, good, good. Level two, pretty fast. And now the final level. The egg mothership. Good. Oh, we got him. And then finish. That's a Trackmania map. That's a map in Trackmania. It's all made inside the game. Is it truly the greatest map of all time? No, I cannot say this. Is it a legendary map in Trackmania history that pushed the limits of map ma making and using in-game effects? Yes. I think it's legendary. That's where I will place it. In 2013, Falling to Pieces was the most awarded map. And you can see that this one, I want to specify here, not RPG, not trial, only had 66 awards. I would consider this to be around Trackmania's slower period. I started playing in 2013, and this was the most awarded map that year by Kumpelblasa. But yeah, this map is a classic. Let's have a look at it. Oh, friend zone. Really? Is that what it is? Ach nee, man, ich bin in der uh, Kumpelblase, Junge. <laughs> That's probably so wrong. <laughs> so wrong. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Is this the map I'm thinking of? I think it is. No, it's not. I'm thinking of a Aerial map, I think. But yeah, what to say about this map? It's, it's clean. It's a cool map. I don't think it really shocked anyone though. 2013 falling to pieces, amazing map, no doubt, but also kind of forgettable. Fasten your seatbelts. This is a banger. The, uh, this one, whew, the world record from seven. Okay, so he gets more speed on the downhill, it looks like. And the uh, quality will adjust, there you go. Very high to very low. What's the checkpoint? I had like 18 ton. That's like, okay, 18 ton. Um. Oh, catches more of that. Oh, hi. Okay, a lot of speed. He's very fast here. Yes. Clean. Drops in late, probably at the very top of that. Right, and now you're very fast. Oh, 
Oh, so diagonal. Okay, that's a great time. Looks beatable, but great time. Uh, it's a classic, but it's... Uh, I mean, look, all right? The thing that I'm thinking about is like, it has 68 awards. 68 people did not finish this map. I think it's kind of overrated. The other one, is, the last one was just a good track, but this one? Mm. The most awarded non-press forward, non-RPG or trial map released in 2015 was this one. 128 deep fear. <laughs> I'm not kidding. This is the most awarded map of uh, 2015. I have to say, it's a good map. It's an insane creation. It pushes the limits of Trackmania full speed. Every checkpoint in and of itself could have been a high awarded Trackmania full speed, full speed map respectively. The fact that it's 10 minutes when driven perfectly is cool, but I would not say it's the greatest of all time. And the main thing is because it's so difficult. Like 10 people have finished the map, period. I think it has the status it has deservedly as like a legendary map though. I think it is a legendary map. The most awarded map in 2016 by Ornheim, Malbic Endar. This is a full speed map that was made to be set in Iceland, if I remember correct. I need the mod real quick to get the right textures, but this one is a, a beautiful map. Not respawnable. Oh, a ton of tracks in this game are not respawnable. Because the uh, amount of work to do that would make the maps look ugly. So a lot of mappers prefer to just build their maps non-respawnable in the old game. Or like they wouldn't put any effort into making sure it's respawnable. Um, some are though, but this one is not. Oh, I remember watching a video of this map. It has such a nasty nose dive, the world record here. Okay. That's pretty clean. 60 awards? 60 awards. Yeah, I'd say it's underrated. I'd say it's underrated. It's the least awarded map out of the ones we've played so far, and I would say it's a good map. That That's not a bad rating. I, I'd put it classic, but I feel like this gives it more power. 2017 is Endgame, where Simo says it all ends here. Can happen. Go again. Good. Okay, let's go. Two hours and 26 minutes to beat Endgame, one of the hardest transitional full speed maps. I enjoyed playing it. It felt great to overcome the challenge of it. It is not a map that many people remember, however, though. I think most people had forgotten this map before I played it now, and most people probably don't even remember half the map. Yeah, perhaps underrated. I haven't decided on a GOAT yet. Maybe there is one there, maybe there's not. I'm gonna have to play Mutiny to find out the next one. The most awarded map from 2018. Which is crazy because it was uploaded like December 2018. Like most people who finish it would probably finish it in, let's say, an hour. I've been playing it for like one hour 30. So I feel pretty fast on the map. This is a slower start though, but well, I will see what the final result is. My goal remains to finish it. 
but I'm I could go for fast time here. Okay, good. That was not that difficult. That was not that difficult. Is it a legendary map? No. Is it the greatest of all time? No. Is it underrated? No. Overrated? No. I think it's just a classic. The most awarded map of 2019. This one. Phantasmagoric by Karian, where only one person got the author time. Seeks to have really good flow. What happened to the accent test? I think I'll just delay that. For next stream. Well, here we are, 2019. Ooh. 2019. Ooh. <laughs> the speed check, dude. You're just building speed in a circle, in a circle. And then you need enough speed for this downhill and this loop entry. This part was a bit blind, but... This strikes me as a map you just want to hunt, and so you, you're gonna know that's there. After a couple runs. Um, not really a problem. And then... Downhill, downhill. I like this bit. That drift is very satisfying when you get it right. Inside pull here, another inside pull setup into a very sharp line. You can build speed through here because now you're going into the loops. And then at the exit, you can do a left side line. So you could go to the left of the pillars here to get a better setup for this downhill. Jump onto there, carry that speed through here. And then finish the map right there. You could hunt this further and further. The metals look quite optimal. The world record is 144, all right? So the bronze medal is not bad. So it's a classic. Out of all the maps we've played so far, we played all the most awarded tracks from every year since 2008 till 2019. And I don't think any of these tracks classify as the greatest track of all time. I think all these tracks that have gotten the most awards are not necessarily the best maps in the game. If I had to pick one greatest of all time track, it would be Hawkalicious. It is a is a really good track. An absolute classic. This is like if you've ever played Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty, and your friends are like, yo, bro, 1v1 me on Rust, quick scopes only. A lot of 1v1s have been played in Trackmania on this map to settle disputes. Like, oh yeah, 1v1 me Hawkalicious. This is a classic among classics. A lot of legacy, a lot of history on this map. And, uh... A player called Tasty recently got the world record on this. After hunting it for like five years. 53.7x, 53.79. Inside line, small grass wiggle. Really good drift on the first one. Set up wide. A lot of exit speed on the drop down. Full inside for this corner. Full inside around the next corner. Jump into full inside through this corner. Low air time. And then... 
across the corner on the inside here, you gotta use the... the corner there to get a clip. Around the pillars, carry speed. Full inside this corner. And then the end is quite tricky, because you want to, uh... get... a wide line as you land here, so you can get a lot of speed. Around the pillars, a very tricky turn. Because this speed goes all the way to the finish. 5376. I had fun rating them. I want to do probably one for trial maps or RPG maps. Maybe one for press 4 maps because I think they're different. Uh, and maybe just one where I pick my own favorites. No restrictions on what is awarded and what isn't. But yeah. Guys, that, that is going to be the stream. I am very tired. <laughs>